and welcome to Mustard Seed Recordings new presentation on temple mapping made possible through Selmoni's new Melodyne 4 release. Do you feel like using a clip track just doesn't let your music breathe? You know, it's too constraining. It doesn't allow you to speed up or slow down based off the feel and the mood of the, the music. Or perhaps you want to add a horn section loop to your live recording, but the grid doesn't line up. Or perhaps you want to tighten up a live performance, but the quantization tools are not lining up to the grid. Or you could be a performer who needs clean sheet music for others to follow but the grid is not aligned. Now, if any of these sound familiar to you, then you need the computer to follow you as opposed to you follow the computer, and temple mapping is the answer to that issue. So what I'm actually suggesting here is a mindset change between the workflows of the historical approach and the electronic or classic approach. And that is what I call the hybrid approach. And that's where the musician leads the computer timing. And so this is where you're taking the actual performance of the live musician in the electronical approach of using the grid to create incredibly tight timings. What you're doing is melding those two together and you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the live performance, breathing movement of the music at the same time, the incredible timing that the computer can bring to the music. So with that background in mind, I'd like to introduce Melodyne Force Temple Mapping within Studio One. Now, Melodyne Force tempo detection process is really world class at this point. DAW designers have had to really just use transients to try to detect where the tempos are at. And uh, what Melodyne is bringing to the party now is actually looking at the content of the musical material to detect things such as where the downbeat is. When I say downbeat, I mean the beat number one of each measure. So it actually can figure out where the measures are. It has the ability to detect beat one in the song, the first beat in the song. It has the ability to detect time signatures. It has the ability to detect small to large variations and even gaps in the tempo. And yes, for many performances, it can actually completely tempo map the song with little to no intervention. So it took normally a 20 to 30 minute procedure and make it almost a click of a button. Now let's take a look at that. So I'm going to use a Carlos Santana song here to demonstrate the new algorithm in Melodyne 4. Here I'm lining up beat 1 to measure 2 in Studio 1 so that the tempo maps align. Control M to apply some Melodyne to the track. And you'll notice in Melodyne 4 the tempo option is flashing. This is to bring your attention to the difference between what it detected and the actual tempo of the host. You see here in Studio One it's 118 and they've detected numbers between 118 and 132. I'm going to go ahead and check this option right here which allows you to edit the tempo map. Normally you can just click OK and you're ready to go and with one click you've tempo mapped the entire song but let's take a look at it closer to understand how it's working. Here you see the tempo map inside of Melodyne and I'm going to amplify it out or zoom in on it so that you can see how much variation it has detected in the song. And I'll zoom all the way out here so you can see the entire song. And there you can see all the valleys and peaks of the actual temples that is detected. And it's done this right down to a beat level using kick drums, bass drums, all the different notes in the polyphonic song to determine that tempo map. Now when I get out of the assignment mode, It'll go, it transfers the map, you see here it transfers the map to Studio One's uh, file. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to drag the tempo map from the Melodyne file onto Studio One's tempo line and that way the, uh, Studio One's tempo will follow the tempos within the actual file exactly right to the quarter note level. And this allows for you to line up loops, lines, allows for you to do all your quantizations. All those things work uh, perfectly once you've got the thing completely mapped like that. Now for demonstration purposes only, here's Easy Drummer's Latin kit map to Oikomodo. There you go. In a matter of minutes, you can now completely tempo map a song.